So this is our challenge league, which is fourth through eighth grade students, and they have robot games that they're playing against other schools while they're here today. Uh, I'm from Cleogan Middle School. Uh, we're from Skipworth. Becker Elementary. We are the Davis Pirates from Jackson Davis. Um, we're from Trivette, the best Trivette. school ever. Yeah, the best ever. We got to move. Yeah, we lost the mask. So when you look at the table that the robots are moving on, each of the components on top of the table are the same for all teams. Each team then has to create their own robot and code that robot to get to the different missions to have the tasks done. So that they would get a point for that. Starting their next challenge right away, they get the octopus. Lego Stars gets the shark. So this year, the missions are ocean themed. Okay, so you have to program the robot to go over to that shark and knock down the yellow. We have a strategy for that we go for to this one first, then we go to the closer one, the angler fish. We're gonna go from the octopus, we're gonna turn, and we're gonna try to hit the radar thing. Oh. Tiger's getting the shark. One of the hardest ones is probably the either the feed the whale or like the sonar discovery. Both teams turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. challenge. Sometimes we'll do like missions by accident. Sometimes we'll like try to do them on purpose but it fails. Sometimes it just like starts spinning around in a circle. Like the first time when we did the shark it didn't work so he sent it over. We just have one code just for that. Stuff. And then we did ours and we sent it back. Three, Three two, two, one, one. one. Yeah. A millisecond before the hammer hit zero, he slashed the, the shark, shark goes down. down. So in the first round, we did not do very well. We did okay. We did maybe halfway decent. We are improving our code now, and we definitely are a lot more confident in it now that we've gotten to test it more. In between times, they can redesign and change up their codes a little bit to see if it's going to change their points that they're getting. After round one, we were able to find our weaknesses, and we were able to fill those weaknesses with strengths, like mechanisms to help it out. For one thing, we made a change to an arm. Actually, Charlie made a made the new arm right here, and we added a ram thing that helps us push stuff along. You know, it's life. These are those durable skills that students have to work through. How are they going to persevere? What are they going to do when something doesn't work right? You have to redesign and you have to learn. And that's a big part of First LEGO League. It's mostly just teamwork, collaborative practice, and a whole lot of other stuff. 